Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your own vintage style graphic tee or tank using your own photography. So let's get started. First, you'll need to choose a photo editor. I'm just using this free one online on photo.com. This is what I use for thumbnails and uh, collages, things like that. So it's free and I'm just going to go to my computer, choose a photograph that I want to use. I'm going to use this one of the beach. If I want to change it, I can just go back to my computer and pick a different photo. So I'm going to go up here to effects and I'm going to click on that and it brings up a whole list of different effects you can use. I'm going to click on vintage and you can see you have a whole bunch of different effects that you can overlay on your photograph. I'm choosing nostalgic and you can change the intensities of these. So I'm going to soften the intensity to about 50% transparency. Click apply and you can layer these different effects. So I'm going to go up here and choose another one. This is autumn. I'm going to drop that one down to 50% also and click apply. And one more, let's go with alder. This gives a nice tan kind of vintage effect. So I'm going to drop that one down to 60% and click apply. Now let's add some text to our photo. So I'm going to go up here, click on text. It brings up a whole list of different fonts. I'm going to click on local and I'm going to scroll down until I find a font I want to use. I'm going to go with papyrus. After you choose your font, go up and click add text. It's going to pop up the text box and type in whatever text you want on your shirt. Mine is going to say salt in the air, sand in my hair. And after I type that in, I'm going to position my text how I want it and adjust the sizing. So right here, I'm just kind of moving the text, kind of centering it and pulling that text box really wide because I want this text to be extra big. So I'm going to change the size. And I'm also going to go in and I think I'm going to kind of space out the words a little bit. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to hit return and separate those. You can also fine tune that spacing by adjusting your vertical spacing. So just by pulling that little switch there, I can kind of adjust it how I want. And so I'm just going to play around with that. Uh, I'm just kind of looking to see where I want the text exactly. I think I want salt in the air to actually be up against the blue sky and I want the sand in my hair to be down on the sand all the way. Now I want to adjust the transparency of the text. I don't want it to be solid black. I want it to be a little bit softer. So I'm going to change the transparency to about 55%. Now I'm going to go back up to effects and click on that. A box is going to pop up asking, do you want to apply your adjustments? Click apply. And then I'm going up to lens flare under effects and I'm going to choose Sunkissed at the very top here. So when you click on that, you can see it's going to pop up this really pretty glow and you can move that glow around wherever you want. You can also adjust the intensity and size of it. I'm going to change the size. I'm going to drop that down to 35 and the intensity, I'm going to soften that glow. I'm going to take that down to 50%. Click apply. And then next I'm going to go up here to the very top and click on basic edits and then go down to rotate and click on that. We're going to horizontally flip the photograph. So just clicked on that, the horizontal flip, click apply. And now your photograph is ready to be saved. So I just go up here, click save, change the quality. I'm clicking highest and then save. When this box pops up, you can name your photograph. Don't forget to add .png on the end of your name. Choose where to save it in your computer and you're all done. Now we're ready to put our graphic on a top. So I'm going to be using these Avery fabric transfers for light color fabric. This is what the back looks like. This is the front. I'm going to lay it face down in my inkjet printer. Find my photograph on the computer. Click print. I'm going to print out a full page, so this is full size. I'm going to trim it down to size, and I'm rounding the corners as I go because you don't want any really pointy corners. Those tend to want to lift off the fabric more easily. We have our iron set on as hot as it'll go with no steam. You don't want to use any steam on this project. So we're ironing the top first, and then the pillowcase. They recommend using a pillowcase on top of a hard surface to iron on rather than a regular ironing board. I have my transfer. I'm going to lay that down, put it in whatever position you want on the shirt, and we are ready to go. I'm setting my timer for three minutes, and that's the recommended time for ironing a full page transfer. So the trick to this is a lot of heat and a lot of pressure. So Michael is really pressing hard on that transfer, smoothing it over, and also focusing on the edges and corners since those are the areas that are most prone to wanting to lift off the fabric. 
After three minutes of ironing, we remove the garment from the table, let it cool for a couple minutes, and then I start at the corner and gently peel off the backing. And it peels pretty easily. You just want to be careful when you first start to lift up that corner. You just want to peel it off as gently as possible. The last step is to wash before you wear. So you'll want to turn the top inside out and wash it in cold water. It's recommended to wash it by itself for the first time. Just in case the ink bleeds at all, you don't want it transferring onto any other clothing. I'm also going to throw mine in this mesh bag because the top I chose is a little more delicate, even though it's still 100% cotton. Use a color safe detergent and remove from the washer promptly. You can tumble dry on low or hang dry. This project was a lot of fun. I hope you guys liked it. And without further ado, here are the results.